Hello everyone, this is Zabdes from the Minecraft Pals and is, this video is for the video response to McLean's video about the zombie fortress uh, earlier before this day I posted a comment suggesting um, an automated farm so he could build a self-sustained house and well this is my automated farm uh, here to go in and um, well as soon as you step on these pressure plates the lights uh, increase in the inside the, the farm so you can see better and when you're out there there's just a uh, enough amounts of light so that monsters will not spawn and the reason I did this it's because I have the mushroom farm here and I want them to grow uh, but uh, when I'm inside I want to have a little bit more light to work so well this is it the, the circuit is not very complicated um, uh, well, this is the cactus farm. It's quite simple, but it most definitely works. Now you just have to wait until it grows back. Here is the reeds or sugarcane farm. See the pistons extend and remove the, the sugarcane, and then you just have to replant all over again and the same right over here bam, 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 bam. then you farm it all again and replant and the water is back there so that uh, it's, this gets uh, all wet and stuff and the crops go faster uh, well I think this is oh I forgot this one here is the mushroom farm uh, right now I only have uh, the red mushroom because that's one that's the the kind of mushroom I'm lacking so but you can put uh, one brown one red one brown red brown red etc. so here is the way I have I created to farm them you just have them grow and then when they're all spread out nice and easy you mm, turn on the lever and water comes and drags the mushrooms where you will be standing to collect so just a quick glimpse on the redstone circuit well it looks fairly complicated but it's not this part over here is just for the pistons piston door to work um, if you guys are interested in that I have um, a tutorial made um, and this part right over here is for the the light stuff uh, here's uh, well uh, this is my not my version but a version that uh, I use of the T flip flop it comes it starts here and comes here, here. Well, it's a bit, it's a bit bigger and more confusing. But if you use Lightning's uh, version, um, you will get the same results. And well, I guess I will just have to show you the upstairs part where the where I have um, all the the wiring for the the lights. So let's head on. Well, yes. Okay. I'll just see the the roof isn't finished. But let's see. This is the wiring for the the lights. What I have the business doing here is the following. Uh, right now there's um, a block underneath this one 
uh, a smooth stone block that will retract before the the glowstone ex uh, piston extends and showing the glowstone the glowstone block. And when I flip the the, the switch and activate the T5 flip flop, sorry, uh, it will basically reverse this project. The, this uh, the thing. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I can't speak well today. So, well, this is it. I hope you like it, and I would be very happy if Lutman's uh, uh, family watched this video and uh, well, used the automated farm idea on on their special fortress that I find it uh, that I find so cool. <laughs> Well, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Bye-bye.